Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose bringing you another Marvel's Midnight Suns video. And today, what I got for you guys here is going to be my reaction to the deep dive for Venom's gameplay in this game. He is the latest DLC character that's going to be joining the roster, and I cannot wait to see what this character is going to look like in game. Before we jump into all this, though, if you can't wait to see what Venom's gameplay is going to look like in Midnight Suns, if you want to see some more Venom in general in gaming, I mean, we got Marvel Spider Man 2 on the way, and I cannot wait to see what Venom's going to look like in that game as well. I need you guys to scroll down right now, hit that thumbs up button, share your hype with me, and let's get this video here to 1,500 likes for the Venom hype. You're going to have to hit that thumbs up button for my cat, though, okay? She's being very loud, but she deserves the thumbs up. Hey, everybody, we are back with another superhero showcase in collaboration with Marvel and 2K. Let's go. If you've been following the Midnight Suns Twitter account, which you should be, I am. Uh, you already know who it's going to be. Today's showcase is about a rather complex character, the iconic symbiote from the Marvel Universe. A truly he villainous personality, so if I do say so myself. Sick. Today we're focusing on one of Spider-Man's biggest concerns in the Midnight Suns early game. Let's take a deep dive into Venom. Nice. A demonically possessed symbiote with a vampire's bloodlust. Contrary to other heroes that have special meters in Midnight Suns, Venom's comes in fully loaded oh. out the gate. His ravenous charges are going to increase his base offense by 17%. Well, oh, that's really good. And he starts each battle with three. He's a pretty bursty character with a big damage bonus at the beginning of each encounter. But his okay. ravenous meter decreases with each Venom attack or heroic played, then refills a bit each turn. To maximize he has some of the abilities that he has when you fight him. Skill cards, and you'll want to carefully consider the order that you play his abilities. Even without the damage bonus, though, Venom still remains a threatening presence on the battlefield with just generally <laughs> strong attack abilities. Those animations, First up, though. let's take a look at his rare Lethal Embrace attack card. Now, it's his highest damage attack card, and with max Ravenous stacks, you'll be clearing the troublesome enemies with Damn. Enemies. At its base level, not only do you get the benefits of your Ravenous stacks, but if the target is at full health, you get a 1.5x offense multiplier. Oh, damn, okay. At 1.5x of your max that's ravenous good. offense, that's a lot. Enemies go bye-bye. At upgrade, you remove <laughs> the enemy health requirement, and you ensure that you benefit from the oh. 1.5 offense boost mm. every time. Now, I'm sure KO, Venom will ultimately 95 end up block. being a very sweet and lovable personality, and I can't wait to get to know him more at the Abbey myself. Moving on to one of Venom's epic skill cards, oh, let's talk so about what sick. I consider to be a core Venom card and one of the stronger ability upgrades in He's the huge. entire game. It's called Insatiable Hunger. At its base level, you're gaining one Ravenous instantly, and then on the next turn start, you're gaining an additional Ravenous to what you would earn normally. Generally, you're gonna wanna play this when you're planning to end your love turn with suits. one Ravenous or less, but you guys are gonna love this. Okay. The upgrade to Insatiable Hunger adds Tell me. free. Oh, you can use the card yeah. for free. Very few cards That's good. in the Night Suns upgrade into a free card play. You're going to so need that. So make sure that you've got skill essences and epic blueprints yep. ready to go. I'm also curious. Oh, I can't wait to see Spider-Man and Venom interact together. In Midnight Suns. Let me know some of the skill card mods that you might be hunting so for that dope. would pair really well with Insatiable Hunger, knowing that it's already going to go to free on upgrade. I think there's some really cool possibilities here. As a side note here, too, you can so stack sick. the benefit of this card, uh, but you're going to be stacking the duration of it, not the effectiveness. I'm going to save his other skill card for the end because reasons. Okay. So next up, <laughs> let's look at Venom's rare heroic ability. It's oh, he's got a chain four ability. Strike. You love that. He doesn't love a good chain attack. I know I do. Yeah. <laughs> this is particularly just, good said. at max ravenous stacks because of the damage boost, obviously. Oh. But the card upgrade is juicy, too. Here's a couple reasons this card is strong. First, it's a chain four attack. Those are pretty rare wrong. as is. But second, the upgrade to this card adds on KO, this does not consume a ravenous. Oh, that's pretty that's good. That's pretty major. You just make sure that one of your chains is a minion and you're in damage dealing, non-ravenous, reducing business. Laughing all the way to the Abbey, I guess, in this case. <laughs> He's got two other heroics as well, an epic and a common, but I'm not going to spoil those here. So, wait. What happened? Where's his legendary heroic yes. card? Yes, let me hear about well, it. Funny you should ask, dear viewer. As I alluded to earlier, Venom has the first Midnight Suns legendary ability that's a skill card and not a heroic. It's called oh. Assimilation. 
In addition to how powerful the card is, the other implication here is that it's generating heroism instead of spending it. So how does that work? Oh, it Assimilation gives heroism, yeah. Venom's attacks and heroics gain quick and on KO, draw a Venom attack or heroic card. That's really good. Of course. It also has everyone's favorite word tagged at the end. Exhaust. That, my friends, ah. is what I like to call bonkers. This can allow Venom to go on some pretty intense streaks if you've got it the right so cards good. the right I love time, the design and if you're so planning much. correctly. There are also some abilities in his kit that prevent this Venom is how Venom from should consuming look Ravenous. Everywhere. So you can kind of see where that's going, but I'll let you guys figure it out when you see all his cards. The, this design's a The upgrade bonus. to Assimilation grants Venom one Ravenous on play, just in case you weren't in tip-top shape to begin with. Okay. So that brings us to the end of our second DLC That's Hero legendary Deep card. Dive. Hope you guys are looking forward to bringing Venom along with your own squad. Damn right I am! Day. As always, make sure you check out the Midnight Suns YouTube channel, as well as my own at youtube.com slash Christopher Odd. Check I'll out Christopher down Odd! Below to all things Midnight Suns. Thanks to Marvel and 2K for working with me on this showcase, and we'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> oh! Yes! Yes! February 23rd, included in the season pass. You guys got to get on this game, okay? You guys got to get on this game. You guys got to play Venom. This game is so good. I'm just super excited to dive in for the opportunity to play as Venom, but more so than that, there is story content in the DLC packs that they released for Midnight Suns. I wasn't expecting that when I jumped in and tried out Deadpool last month, and knowing that now going into the Venom DLC, I'm so pumped to see Spider-Man interacting with Venom. Not to mention, it's Yuri Lowenthal voicing Spider-Man in this game. So this DLC is going to be a little sample sizing of what we can expect later this year in the fall with Marvel Spider-Man 2. I know some people aren't going to be really into the card mechanics. I know a lot of the talk about what these cards do and Ravenous and all the special abilities that your character has and the ways that you can play properly and the strategy of it. I know some people are turned off by that. I understand. I wasn't a strategy game guy either. This game changed everything for me, and now I could not recommend it enough. It seriously, it deserves your time. The stuff in the Abbey for me is kind of the weaker part of the game, but it'll still be interesting to see Eddie Brock in the Abbey to interact with him, to try and build your relationship. Of course, that's really important if you want to unlock that super cool golden suit for Venom as well. That's the Midnight Sun suit. I also wonder if there's going to be any interaction between Peter Parker and Eddie Brock in the Abbey and what that's going to end up being like and whether or not that's going to play a factor in the story of the game because, I mean, they are are foes at the end of the day are they gonna butt heads or are they gonna be buddy buddy i've seen both and i'd be fine with either but i'm more interested if they're gonna be against each other or they're gonna be at odds all the animations for venom look sweet as hell in the game the things that you can do with this character seem to make him a very strong pick for your roster when you're going into a mission so i'm definitely gonna add this guy into my rotation i'm just super stoked for february 23rd we're definitely gonna be streaming this when this character drops and with that being said i now want to kick it to you guys Guys, sound off with your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about the Venom DLC for Midnight Suns? Have you played this game yet? Are you still on the fence? Is this convincing you to try it out? Again, I highly recommend it. Sound off with your thoughts in the comments. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider hitting that thumbs up button. It would show your support. And I would really appreciate it. I've been Caboose, and I'll see you guys later.